Let's see, Tanya, would you explain the downswing deceleration sequence one more time, please? Okay, so we're talking uh, 3D. 3D, 3D. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, why don't I switch over here? So if I, I can probably bring up 3D, use Ernie. I'm gonna put Ernie L's sequence up here. Um, one of the best ever. One of the best ever, right? Okay, so the question was, can we explain the downswing deceleration sequence again? So literally, if you think about this, is on the kinematic sequence, we're looking at how well a player creates energy, transfers energy, right? And I always like to say it's kind of like uh, a, it's kind of like the whip analogy. It's mm -hmm. not really, but it's kind of like the whip analogy. Imagine every segment of your body can create speed and power, but you're going to take your big segments, like your lower body, right? You're going to start using the ground with your lower body, create some energy. That energy is going to accelerate the lower body. Then, if you're really good, you transfer that energy to your trunk. Trunk adds some energy, you transfer energy to your arms. Arms add some energy, you transfer to the club. And what I like to see, first and foremost, is does each segment add speed to the next one, right? So you should see the red, the pelvis, is, going, is accelerating, but it should add energy to the green, so the green should be higher, which we definitely see it's higher. Yep. Then you should be able to add energy to the arm, the arm should be higher. And then you should obviously add to the club. The lighter the segment, the faster it moves, right? Some people you're gonna see in this downswing uh, sequence here, you're going to see the maybe the green and the blue are at the same speed, or the red and the green, and they're effectively not transferring energy between their segments properly, right? Or there's a there's a, a power uh, source that uh, we can improve, yeah. right? Now, that's the first thing. Do you increase in energy? And then you can see on Ernie here, he does that beautifully. The second thing I like to see is I like to see is in what order do they slow down? So from a time perspective, from left to right, I always look to see Wherever they start to slow down, red starts to slow down here, green starts to slow down here, blue starts to slow down here, and the club starts to slow down here. From a time perspective, from left to right, the red starts to slow down first, which means, guess what? Lower body crossed the finish line first, so it came in first. Green slows down second, blue slows down third, and the club slows down fourth. So there's this sequence of deceleration, we call the deceleration sequence. And that sequence is what is so important to understand uh, when it when it comes to how that how that affects a golfer's efficiency. So now I'm going to go back to where you can see us. And let's see how do I do that there? I'll stop, stop share. share. See it right there. Perfect. Okay. So now literally from that downswing deceleration sequence, here's what we know, Dave, is that basically if you watch me on the downswing, the lower body the lower body initiates, trunk follows, arm follows. So in transition, everything kind of goes in sequence from the ground up. But what yep. the downswing deceleration is talking about, I kind of we call the transition sequence firing sequence on, on our online class. I actually think that's maybe a mistake in that it's really the transition sequence is the transition sequence. The downswing deceleration sequence, I like to think of more as the firing sequence because here's what happens. In the downswing, the first thing that really happens is obviously you're using the ground, you're driving from your lower body, but now the upper body, the trunk fires. Yeah. And when the trunk fires, it grabs onto the lower body, yeah. and that's why you see the lower body slow down first. Mm -hmm. Then you'll see the arms fire, which grabs onto the trunk, slows the trunk down. And then you'll see the club fire, which grabs onto the arm and slows the arm down. So there's this sequence of deceleration. Pelvis slows down first, that's because the trunk fired. Mm -hmm. Then the trunk slows down, that's because the arm fired. And then the arm slows down because the club fired. So I'm always looking to see, do you progressively gain speed? Yep. Do you do it in the right order? And how well do they slow down, which means each segment's firing. Because if one right. segment's not firing, you're losing speed. 